Okay. Welcome to my messy kitchen. I'm Wilson Ng from Places and Foods. Today I'm going to show you how to open the luncheon meat, how to store them in the fridge, and how you're going to pan fry it. So there's lots of luncheon meat brands right now. This is from Singapore, this is from Korea. But all the luncheon meats uh, usually have this type of cans. For beginners, it's really a struggle to take out the luncheon meat from the can. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to take it out without even using a knife. I'm going to show you guys how to open the uh, luncheon meat. So open the lid here. Okay. A lot of people trying a lot of ways using the knife on the side, but the easiest way is just squeeze here. So you get to see like the space in between and then just wrap it just like that. The easiest way is just squeeze here. So you get to see like the space in between and then just wrap it just like that. Now is the cutting part. Um, I usually cut half. And then you can actually like keep it half in a container. Or just like cut it in a smaller piece and go into pan fry it. So this is like my first time trying this uh, brand and flavor. The texture um, looks really good, and the color it's like reddish instead of a pinkish. I'm using drilling knife in case you are wondering. Um, this is bought in Europe. So what you need is just a container and you just can keep it like this and put it in the chiller, put it in the fridge and probably you can like eat it within a couple of days. good enough so you can actually like pan fry it or you can cook it with the omelette so let me do a quick demonstration in cooking this so you can actually cook it with butter if you want more flavor or you just use a bit of oil So it's like medium heat right now and you can see it's turning like golden brown, brown color. Just eat this with uh, instant noodle, rice, or even sandwich with egg. So it's turning really like a nice color right now. You can actually like smell the aroma of the luncheon meat. So it's getting like golden brown now. You don't really need that rocket science to cook this. It's almost ready right now, and yeah, like this piece you can see like actually it's, it's going to taste like super crispy. You can do or you can do with oil or without oil, it's up to you.
So this is how you pan fry the luncheon meat. So this is the end product. This is the uh, luncheon meat pan fry to uh, crispiness on the outer layer. Inside is still tender. And then this is the uh, Singapore brand. So this is like a Singapore brand golden lion and it comes with cheese. So you can actually like have this with uh, instant noodle rice, fried rice or even with uh, bread. So it's up to your creativity. The good thing about luncheon meat, you can actually store them. Don't eat them so regular because it's still a processed food. I hope you like this video. Please do comment, like or subscribe and uh, we'll do more videos like this. Thanks for watching everyone and see ya.